Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're studying for the CompTIA Security Plus 701 exam, then you should know this acronyms. Today, I'm going to explain them with real-world examples so they're easier to understand. So let's jump in. AAA stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. Let's think about online banking. A authentication. When you log into your bank account using your username, password, and maybe a text message code. A authorization. Once logged in, you can view your balance but can't change system settings at the bank. A accounting. The bank logs all your transactions, like transferring money or paying bills, so they can track your activity. This system ensures only you can access your account, do what you're allowed to do, and have your actions recorded. 2. ACL stands for Access Control List. Imagine a Netflix account shared by a family. An ACL controls who can access what. A parents can see all the content, including mature shows. A kids can only watch shows suitable for their age. A guest can't see any personal watch history. The access control list makes sure each person sees what they're allowed to, based on the rules set by the account owner. 3. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. AES is like the lock on your smartphone. When you set a passcode, your phone encrypts the data. Even if someone steals your phone, they can't read your emails, messages, or photos without unlocking it. AES does the same for sensitive digital data, ensuring only authorized people can access it. 4. AES 256 stands for Advanced Encryption Standard 256-Bit. AES-256 is like using a super-secure, military-grade lock. For instance, if you're shopping online and see 256-bit encryption on the payment page, it means your credit card details are being protected by one of the strongest encryption methods available. 5. AH stands for Authentication Header. Picture a secure delivery service. When you receive a package, you need to sign to prove you're the intended recipient. In networking, AH works similarly. Before a device connects to a VPN, it must prove its identity, ensuring that only verified devices can access the secure network. 6. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. AI is all around us. Think about spam filters in your email. They use AI to analyze emails and detect patterns, like strange subject lines or suspicious links, so spam never lands in your inbox. AI makes cybersecurity smarter and faster. 7. AIS stands for Automated Indicator Sharing. Imagine a group chat where neighbors share updates about suspicious activity in the area. If one neighbor spots a break-in, they alert everyone immediately. Similarly, AIS lets companies share real-time cybersecurity threat information, like details of a new malware attack. This helps everyone protect themselves faster. 8. ALE stands for Annualized Loss Expectancy. Think about car insurance. If your car is valued at $10,000 and you estimate a 1 in 10 chance of an accident this year, your potential loss is $1,000 annually. In cybersecurity, ALE works the same way. For example, if a ransomware attack could cost a company $50,000 and there's a 10% chance it will happen, the ALE is $5,000. This helps businesses plan for risks. 9. AP stands for Access Point. AP is something you use every day, like the router in your home. It's the device that allows your phone or laptop to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Without it, no internet access. 10. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Have you ever used Google Maps in a ride-sharing app like Uber? That's API in action. The ride-sharing app connects to Google Maps through an API to show you real-time directions and traffic updates. APIs allow apps to share data and features seamlessly. And that's it for part one. Each of these 10 acronyms plays a critical role in IT and cybersecurity. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your study group, and subscribe for more tech tips. Good luck on your Security Plus journey, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like comment, and subscribe.